Hello and welcome to Teach, Read, Play. Today's video I will be talking about what an enabling environment is and how you can provide an enabling environment in your early years setting or at home. I hope you enjoy the video. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe and turn notifications on to see more content like this. So, what is an enabling environment? An enabling environment is a space that is safe and risk-free for children to explore and to thrive in their own way. It takes into consideration risks and minimises them and also enables children to effectively reach and look for opportunities for reading and writing in today's case. So providing an enabling environment at home. How do we do it? Well, firstly, you can ensure that there are areas and safe spaces for your child to access writing. So firstly, you might want to provide a caddy. Well here, I have a range of different resources for a child to use to enable them to write. So we have some chalk, crayons, felt tip pens, pencils, pens, whiteboard pens, and these are all things that children love to write with. Another way to provide an enabling environment for a child is to ensure that there is access to paper. So here, I've got small personal notepads. Now at school, some of the children might have their own small personal notepads. If you're at home, you might have a notepad for your child to be able to access when they want to do their own writing. I've also got some small pieces of coloured card. Children love to write on different types of materials. And coloured cards is a great way to entice a child to begin to write. So if you've got your coloured cards and you've got your felt tips or your whiteboard pens, it's a perfect opportunity to enable a child to have a go at mark making, letter formation or any writing that they desire to do. Post-it notes. Children love to write on post-it notes. They're usually fascinated by the way that you can stick them anywhere. So, have some post-it notes dotted around your home or your early years setting with some paper, um, pens, crayons, or any other materials to write with so that your child can either label things or write things. Post-it notes are great for labeling around the house. So they could label something like the bath and stick it on. You can also provide your child with a whiteboard. Whiteboards are a great way to encourage early reading and writing. Now with your whiteboard, if you've got whiteboard pens around, is one of the, the, another way to ensure that it's an enabling environment. So ensuring that you've got all of the resources that are really easy accessible for each child. So that they won't have to stop or um, not be able to achieve their desired effect. So here, whiteboard, whiteboard pens all around. Could be mark making, or could be writing the name Tim. which is a great thing to add to your enabling environment, whether this is at home or in a setting, you can provide your child with a chalkboard. Children are always fascinated by chalkboards and they love to write with chalk. So make sure again, that if you've got your chalkboard out, that the chalk is really easy to access for a child and that a child can see that. And then they can have a go at writing on the chalkboard. Lastly, I like to provide all of my resources in clear caddies or um, boxes for children to be able to access. Therefore, having your 
resources around your home or your early years setting in clear containers enables a child to have a look inside to see what they would like to be able to access. Remembering that children can't read always at this stage, so if this was just labelled and not in a clear case, they might not be able to see that it's a crayon that they might like to use. And lastly, just some fun things that you can have around. So here, my lollipop sticks, I've got those again in a clear container, so a child can always access this and they can use it for doing whatever writing they want. I hope you enjoyed my tips on enabling an environment ready for writing. Good luck with writing, enjoy and remember it. Remember to always provide purposeful opportunities for writing in your home or early years settings. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.